subbing to someone's channel, following them on Instagram or whatever, or adding them as a friend, just for a contest, and then instantly removing yourself from them the second you lose. These people are the lowest of the low the internet, in my opinion. Now, hear me out. I know some people will think, oh, no, trolls are much worse. You know, obviously not the, like the, uh, obviously the people who break the law by stealing, uh, identities are the worst, but, you know, of uh, people you will generally deal with, these, uh, fickle a-holes, or the scumbags, pretend to care about what you're saying or what you're doing just to win free shit. And then when they don't lose, then when they lose, they throw a big hissy fit, and they just pretend you don't exist. And these are the same people that even if they did win, guess what? They would say, "Oh, I got my free shit," and they still unfollow, unsub, whatever. This topic was brought up by, well, brought on by somebody who I recently subscribed to because he is a he's a YouTuber called the Deal Guy or something like that. He uh, looks out, he looks over all the internet and finds the uh, best deals on the technology and consumer products and that kind of stuff. And I sub because um, I'm a cheap bastard and I want to be able to save money. I'm also a lazy bastard, and I'm too lazy to look for it sometimes. So you know, if he's gonna do all, if he's gonna do that work, I might as well sub to him. And he does contests. Now he does contests that are a hell of a lot better than mine. Mine, as you've seen, if you are subscribed or if you can see, if you look, I just give away ultraviolet codes to movies. And a lot of times it's movies that are old that I already own, and I'm just buying the collector's edition of the film, or I'm buying a upgrade of the film, or whatever. He's giving away HD TVs, iPhones, Switches, Xbox Ones, and all that other kind of stuff. And people have the gall to just comment on his videos, like the video, sub to him, and then, because they lose out of the thousands upon thousands of people who are sub to him. Because, oh, I've only, I just found your video yesterday. I lost. I'm going to unsubscribe now. They have the gall, the nerve to do that. It's like, what do you get out of unsubscribing? Like, seriously, what do you get out of unsubscribing? This is my history of YouTube unsubscribing. The few people I've actually unsubscribed to, I still get their damn videos and my notifications. Not notifications. I still get my, I still get the damn videos and recommended. In the recommended section, I still get Matt Pat. I unsubscribed to him years ago because his argument against the prequel trilogy of Star Wars is CGI. If you mention that at all during your argument, I disavow anything you say about the movie. Because that's the thing you're focusing on. Did you see the rest of the CGI around the time of the area? Episodes 1, 2, and 3 revolutionary. And they have more sets and models and every costumes, everything, than all... Each one of those prequel movies have more than all 4, 5, and 6 combined. 4, 5, and 6 had the same shit. It was just paint instead of CG. So I throw, I throw them out the window anytime they mention anything about that. If you mention that in your review of the film, I throw it out the window because I, I, don't, I don't respect you at all. I, lose all. I lose all respect for you. You can mention it at the end saying, well, you know, I don't really like it, but but if you mention how the originals didn't have it, well, no fucking shit. Computers, weren't even inve computers were invented, but they weren't as strong as they are. But guess what? They're still paint. They're still models. Well, I digress on that one. I still get his stuff recommended to me. I still get his uh, game theory and film theory stuff recommended to me all the time. I've and I've told them I'm not interested, but they still recommend it to me. And I've unsubscribed to other people because of their pol they bring up too much politics stuff. And if you go to other social media stuff, it's like I mentioned Instagram. You can just hit hide. You don't unfollow them, you just don't see them anymore. And on Facebook, 
I am friends of people still, quote unquote, friends of people on, online still. They're still in my friends list and I'm still on theirs. And I've unfollowed them. So I no longer see their rants because I have somebody on there who, for everything she says, she's a huge diehard liberal until it comes to the Jewish community. She's like a full on freaking real Nazi when it comes to Jews, but yet peace, love, and drugs, and white people are evil, and the uh, natives were screwed over, and we need to let all these Mexicans into the country, and free health care, but Jews are evil, and they need to be wiped off the face of the planet. What? She goes from being everybody on the right's a Nazi to actually being a fucking Nazi. So I just unfollowed her so I don't see her shit anymore. Because I reported to Facebook, and Facebook, you can make all the racist comments you want about the Jewish people. They don't give a fuck. They don't. You can report them. They don't care. They say, well, if you don't like it, you can just unfriend them. That, can, that will solve it. But yeah, you say, uh, you quote a rapper who the rap lyric is literally, yo nigga, my nigga, unquote. And they pull your thing because, oh, that's racist. But you can say all Jews people need to be right for the face of the planet. And they instantly go, oh, that's fine. That's freedom of speech. I'm going to digress on that one. There are ways to handle things about being a dick online. I know it's easier to be a dick for a lot of people, and a lot of people aren't going to care. But that's the reason why I've actually made a banned list. Even though my channel is a speck of sand, half, not even a, not even a speck of sand, a half a speck of sand on a beach. I have a banned list. And two people are on it. One person unsubscribed the second they lost. One person unsubscribed after they won. And they're both on my band list. They can no longer they can no longer participate. And every time I do a drawing, I take a glance over at that. And if they, if they ever pull, come up as a winner, I will have to, I'll just pull it up. Hey, you uh, abuse my good nature by giving stuff away and then leaving afterwards. It's like. You can ignore, you don't have to click on the videos. You can keep subscribed to people. It's like on my other channel that I do my main viewing and commenting stuff. I stopped watching the Young Turks years ago. I'm still subscribed to them. And I barely see their stuff. If you, do, if you go a couple of months without watching anything from a subscription... YouTube's algorithm won't show you their stuff anymore. I see people always say, "How come I don't see your stuff?" Well, you didn't. Did you watch the last couple videos they did? Uh, no. Well, that's why. That's the algorithm. If you don't watch every video the person releases, you're not. They're not going to pop up in your thing because you have to click see all releases from my subscriptions. You can just click see the best or see the most recommended, whatever the, whatever the wording is nowadays. Right at the top, at least in the app form. So there is really no excuse to unsubbing from somebody. Unless you hate everything that person stands for. Or you don't longer find... Or you find a person's voice annoying, like my voice. But then you shouldn't have subscribed in the first place. If you're doing it just for a contest, you need to say that so the person knows not to give you the prize if you win and by a random draw. Because you don't deserve it. If you're only something to somebody just for a contest, you honestly don't deserve to win. That's not my opinion, that's the truth. If you're and if you're doing something just for a contest, you do not deserve to win. It's not like a burger not like you go to Burger King and oh I I'll enter the contest, why not? It is YouTube is a I don't know. Screw all that shit. What I was gonna say, I've lost my train of thought now. I'm keeping that in because, you know, these pop talk things are supposed to be real conversations. I've got to hear about how it's supposed to be a career type situation to help you get money, but I don't make money off my videos. So that was, a stupid con that was a stupid point to bring up. That'd be like somebody for, like, the deal guy or for, like, Proto Mario and his contest type things. But his contest got connected to his uh, 
Patreon. So his stuff is like gambling, kind of, if you, look, if you think about it. But yeah, if you don't watch every somebody's every video, you won't see their stuff in your thing. That's why that's why subscriptions disappear from your box. So let's say you only you only sub to me just for the contest. Don't tell me obviously because you won't be able to win. Because if you honestly tell me I only sub for the contest, I'd add you to the ban list. I just want to tell you. I'm telling you now because of the video. But just do it. And then don't watch anything. Don't watch a couple videos. Like, wait for the contest is over. Click the did you win the thing that I put up like I did for Solo. And if your name isn't picked, don't unsubscribe. Just don't watch another video. I tend to do one every day or every other day depending on my work schedule. And... Don't watch a couple of them. Like, if you missed probably seven videos, I probably would stop appearing at your subscription. I can't prove that with Random Pop because I don't really watch anybody's videos of this channel. But with Haddam Tenrose, my other one, I, I could prove that. I'm subscribed to over a couple hundred thousand. I'm subscribed to, I think, 300 people over there. 100,000 the other thing. Something, something else. But... And I only get like 12 videos. I know people make those. I know other people make things. I've clicked on people's channels like, I haven't seen something from them in years. Click on it. Oh, they are making new stuff. It's like, I'm still subscribed to the Fine Brothers. Because I was internet acquaintance with them back when they were still doing toy videos. Like their lost videos and that kind of stuff. And I even appeared in one of their videos. But the uh, all they do is that du those dumbs kids react, adults react, old folks react. Because you know that's their bread and butter. Those people started watching us that made them famous. And I haven't watched a single thing from them ever since those react videos took over the channel. I'm subscribed to both their channels, and I haven't seen a thing from them. Unless someone shares it on Facebook. Unless someone shares it in a group on Facebook. I don't see a thing from those guys. But I'm still subscribed to both of their channels. That is proof that if you don't watch something long enough, YouTube's going to think you don't care. And they're not going to unsubscribe you. They're going to think you don't care. So you unsubbing, it's just you saying, if you unsub somebody just because I didn't win a contest, you're just saying that you're a slime ball. You're a piece of garbage and that's the pop talk hope you have a nice day even if you are unsubscribing and another side note why does every youtuber include that don't forget to like and subscribe it's like are you that do you think the audience is that stupid i mean maybe they are because i don't include that and i've only gotten my highest is 30 subscribers for this channel but, you know, I've had people unsubscribing because they lost the contest, or I've had people unsubscribing because they won the contest and they just wanted the free movie. But maybe that is a thing. Maybe if you don't remind people to subscribe and like, they don't honestly do it. But you tell me. You're the listener. Do you know to, to subscribe to people if you like the channel, if you like the video you just watched? Do you know that, or do you have to be reminded? Do you know that you have to like the video to help it out, to help it grow? You don't have to share it. You can just like it, and it will be added to YouTube algorithm. Or do you not know that, and you have to be told to like it? I'm, I'm honestly curious. Are you intelligent enough to know how YouTube works? Because I don't watch that many people on YouTube on my other channel. I've tried a bunch of them, but I don't watch that many of them. And I've heard every single one of them talk about the algorithm. So obviously, a lot of people are talking about it, so and it's common knowledge on YouTube where it should be, at least for people who spend a lot of time on it. So do you know it, or do you actually need to be reminded by every YouTuber, don't forget to like and subscribe? And how do you feel about people constantly reminding everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe?
Have a nice day.